anybody else notice that we'll take advice from people who we shouldn't be taking no damn advice from? For instance, we'll let somebody tell us, oh, you don't need to go to college. And they ain't never been to college. And we'll really sit down and contemplate and consider everything that they told us that they think we should do. And they ain't never did it. Think about that. You'll let somebody that can't keep no woman tell you what you need to do with yours. You'll let somebody tell you they can't keep no man what to do to keep yours. And we really listen to that. Like we really do. Like we really, they plant that seed and we'll sit there and contemplate on it and think about what they said. But we know the whole time that what they telling us or who telling it to us ain't really credible enough to say. But we'll listen to that. That's how people plant seeds into your subconscious. When they say things like that, you need to instantly have a rebuttal for it. When they tell you, like, well, I don't think you should go to college, you need to go right back and say, well, I didn't ask you what you thought. Like, you got to do something to kill that root before it starts to become kill a seed before it becomes a root. You got to learn how to combat those things. That's how come you speak to things. You speak When they tell you you need to speak to the enemy, they're speaking to the enemy. Because that person who's saying that, they might not realize that's a spirit that's speaking through them. They be done said that and don't even realize it. That's people that's unaware. They don't know they're being used by different entities and spirits. The spirits of jealousy, envy, whatever the spirit is, was speaking through them. So when you're speaking to that person, you might not be speaking to them directly. You might be speaking to that which is in them that they don't know is there. I love y'all for real. Peace.